Hi everybody, it's Friday. I finished makeup school today. Yay, it was kind of bittersweet. It's kind of sad when you build relationships like that, but um, all of us practically live in the area. Um, two girls were from Japan, so we had to say forever goodbye to them. And then one girl's moving to Australia to be with her boyfriend. So that was another one we had to say goodbye to. But my sweatpants are falling off. <laughs> Alex works tonight. He's not feeling good, so that's not good. I need to do some laundry, but um, I'm going to reward myself from graduating with, well, I went out for celebratory drinks at 3 o'clock. Um, I just got a mojito. I don't, I'm not a big drinker. Ever since I got married, I don't know. It's just like, I just feel like marriage and drinking. Once you get married, you don't really want to drink anymore. That, well, I don't know how to explain it. Anywho, I need to fill those bad boys up and um, get some stuff done around here. Like, we got some more wedding gifts. We got a bath, a black bath, black kitchen mat. Why was that the hardest thing for me to say? Um, which is good. I think I'm gonna literally like sit and watch um, some Deadly Women, which is kind of one of my new favorite shows. And I'm gonna watch some YouTubers. And um, then I'm gonna go get that laundry. Gotta cook myself dinner, because you know that's important. Load the dishwasher. I am jobless and schoolless right now. So I am less. <laughs> so we'll see. I'll keep you guys updated on what's going on. <laughs> All right, I just hit like I feel like when you feel when you when your body knows that you finished like a program or something, it taps out of life um and that's what I feel like is happening to me like I'm, my body's just like no more okay you're done with the makeup program you're done it was a hard intensive program but I loved it I loved all the people that I met <laughs> majoritively um made really good connections met some really good professionals in the industry and learned a lot anyways that's what I'm talking about I have to go get the laundry I want to show you guys my amazing outfit this is what I look like <laughs> going to get the laundry. It's actually pretty cold here in LA um, and it's just gonna get colder because I'm going to Washington for Christmas. I want to show you guys my hair because I braided in extensions and it actually looks pretty. You guys the lighting in here is sucky. It looks pretty natural. I don't know. To me it does. But I have to get, Alex put the clothes in the wash. I have to go get them and hang them. So that's what I'm gonna go do. So I got the laundry. I haven't hung it up yet to dry. Because as you, if you guys watch us frequently, you know that we don't pay for our dryer anymore because we live in an apartment complex. So you have to pay for like a load and then you pay for the dry. And the dry didn't dry, so we're like, why waste quarters on that? Um, but I just made myself a winter dream tea latte. And Coffee Bean has a winter dream tea latte. So good. Best thing you ever had. And I buy it at the store, and it looks like this. And then... Coffee Bean is known because they use um, powders, like vanilla powders, chocolate powders, instead of using vanilla syrups. But, um, and then you put in you know, some vanilla powder, which looks like this. It lasts a really long time. And I use almond milk because I don't drink dairy anymore. And um, I steam it. I brew some, t some water for the tea bag. And I put half a cup of water and I put the tea bag in and then I steam milk and put the powder, vanilla powder in the milk, vanilla milk, and um, 
and then I put that into the tea. So it's cooling off right now. I'm cooking myself dinner because I'm alone, like a loner. Um, I think I'm going to have green beans, chicken, and pasta. So I prepared the green beans. They are steaming currently. Mm. Now I'm going to drink my latte, watch some YouTube, and then in about 20 minutes, I'm going to start the pasta, start the ending of my meal, the last stuff. Um, yeah, it's just the nicest Friday. I appreciate this so much. I need a break. This school was awesome, but it made me sick a lot. Um, <laughs> and so this is Kelsey time. I get to work on the house, organizing the house for this month of January and doing my thank you cards from the wedding and um, doing a bunch of that stuff. And then I think I'm gonna start applying for jobs mid-January, so. That's my far-fetched plan right now. We will see how that goes. But there's a lot of stuff I need to get done around here. As well as like launching my website and getting that up and running and getting business cards printed and all that stuff. So tonight's probably gonna be a boring vlog, sorry, but Alex isn't here and Yeah, <laughs> Alex isn't here, and I plan on sitting on my butt. This school put me through the ringer, so. My extensions, and it feels so good. I don't know how girls wear those every day. I only wear them when I do side braids or um, fishtail braids on the side. Um, because I don't want, I don't like the look of like a short braid that like stops right here. I don't think it's cute, but I'm enjoying my winter dream tea. And I need to start the second half of dinner. And this is a solo Kelsey mission vlog. Um, I can smell the green beans. And they smell so good. I'm going to get a pot started for the water. And then Alex leaves me with a crap ton of dishes. Look at this. He just leaves with dishes. Who does he think he is? Guys. Who? It's ridiculous. It's ridiculous. Um... And I have to put three tracks on my extensions. I sew three, if you can see, I don't know if you can see this, but I sewed three tracks. And this is the longest length. I think it's like, um, hold on. Can you sit there? I think it's like 38 or something. Some long length is what it is. One of my goals is to go through under here because under this is ridiculous. And um, I'm loving my new nails. Check it. Check it. Um, I got them painted. I was going to get red nails and I was like, okay, here's my thing. I'm a very neutral person because I'm so tall. I don't like to make like super bold statements with like fashion, hair, or anything. I already stick out. Like I don't need to do more work to stand out by myself. Um, and so like any colors, like I always wear neutrals, which I guess works for the line of work I'm going into as I'm wearing a lime green sweatshirt. But um, for the most part, I wear neutrals. I wear like creams, tans, beiges, whites, blacks, jeans, Uggs, sweatshirts. Like I don't really, I mean, I think I have style sense, but I wouldn't say I'm like a fashionista or anything. Um, and I've always loved red nails and I really want to work my way up to getting red nails, but I feel like it's such a big 
thing. I was like, you know what? I can get red nails for Valentine's, like for February. I think that'd be a good time to get red nails. But um, yeah, I love them. I've gotten lots of compliments today on them. And I found a new nail lady in SoCal. I'm so excited. Um, I quit acrylics for a while because it is a cost. You know, um, but I started a new thing where I'm not buying any clothes for the next two months. Um, and so I was like, go to Forever 21, a t-shirt costs $20. My nails cost 25. So it makes up for it. And I'd probably go every about three weeks to get my nails done. Um, and if I can stretch it out to a month, I will. But yeah, I love acrylics. I love feeling like super feminine. Um, yeah. So it's 8 o'clock. I still haven't hung up any of the laundry. That's something I need to do before I go to bed or else the clothes are going to start <sighs> rotting. What is that? Like, you know when your clothes start smelling? Anyways. Um, I've been watch. I was watching Deadly Women and then it, like, I don't know if you guys ever get to this, but like, I feel like shows really affect my like psyche and my mood and I just started feeling down and I was like all right like I'm tired I'm just gonna go back to YouTube the happy land of YouTube and um I don't know if you guys know this but me and Alex have tattoos and um we love them well he only has one and I have two um but I'm really wanting to get a third one and um, I have some ideas in mind and um, I <laughs> now in this day and age, what I do is I have some already saved in a Word document. Um, I only stick to, I only want black and white tattoos. I used to have a, um, what do you call it? Uh, saying that I couldn't get tattoos um, that would be that you could see on my wedding day and now I'm married so it doesn't even feel like I'm married but I'm married <laughs> so um, that doesn't really affect me anymore um, but I still don't really want things like out in the open and showing I mean, my career path that I'm gonna be going down doesn't necessarily um, like, you can have tattoos down the career path I'm going. Um, it doesn't really matter. Um, so I shouldn't be worried about that. I just don't really want to look like I'm covered in tattoos. If you know what I'm saying? Um, I think it's super cool when girls are, like, ballsy and, like, have sleeves and half sleeves and thigh pieces and whatever. Um, I'm just not the type that would do that. If that makes sense. Anyways... Um, so I've been Pinteresting, because now you can Pinterest tattoos. Um, Pinteresting, like, what I do normally is I either type in the idea that I have into Google. So, like, for example, um, I always have this saying where I just go with the flow. I always go with the flow. Like, if something bad happens, I feel like, okay, I'm not supposed to do that. Like, let's, the other day, I was going to try to go to Panda Express and the line was like out of the parking lot and if I had tried to turn I would have blocked traffic and gotten panda so I was like obviously I'm not supposed to get panda today and then I drove home stuff like that so I type into Google go with the flow and then um, I'll like look up images and see what images are attached or like I look in deeper into Google like what people say about going with the flow or like what words some seem to branch off of that um i normally have like a base meaning that i'm trying to incorporate into the tattoo um me and alex have also been talking about doing a tattoo and piercings video um i had a lot of piercings i've recently taken a lot of them out but i had my little rebellious phase Anywho. Um, it's 8 o'clock, and I'm still sitting on the couch and on my computer, and Deadly Women is still up, and there's, like, a woman staring at me, which is kind of creepy. Um, but 
I'm gonna look up tattoos for a little while and then I don't know. I just cleaned the kitchen and um, I'm now watching Alaska Ice Cold Killers documentary. Today it seems like I'm watching a lot of things about killers. <laughs> um, I love like CSI and um, like it interests me like I'm like I don't know because it's so opposite of my personality. Anyways, I got the clothes hung up, the baskets empty, ready for our last loads before we leave. Um, tomorrow is probably going to be mostly us like packing for our trip and kind of like cleaning and prepping the house for the trip. Um, Alex works tomorrow night as well, which sucks. <laughs> I just feel like he's always working. Um, but I think it'll be fine. Um, I kind of want to go out to breakfast tomorrow morning. I don't know if that'll happen. But we don't have food here anyways. So it could be a fun adventure. Um, but yeah, the night's dwindling down. It's almost 10, which means Alex will be home in like an hour. But it feels good like every night to get the dishes in the dishwasher. Nothing is worse than waking up in the morning and thinking, oh my god, I have to blow the dishwasher. Um, and I just wipe all the counters down with some 409 every night. I started doing that. I used to not use chemicals and stuff every night. Um, I used to just use all natural cleaner, like method. It's called method. It's like a more of an all natural cleaner. Um, but I just noticed that my counters weren't getting as clean and um, a lot of bacteria and stuff was building up on the counters. Um, so I started using 409 like every night around this time. And this is my hope. My hypothesis is that it evaporates um, by morning. And um, hopefully it doesn't affect our food or anything. But yeah, we got the Christmas tree going. And it'll be the last time that presents are under the Christmas tree. We have to pack all those presents up tomorrow um, and take them all with us because they're all for people where we're going. Except for a couple are ours. Um, but yeah, that is what's happening here at the Bennett household. I hope you guys enjoyed.